Welcome to vlog number 15. What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the vlog today. To start today's vlog, I decided I'm gonna share with you guys a quick little update on the channel. So, I've decided I'm gonna be trying to start a React series here on my channel. I've already reacted to the React channel's kids trying Canadian food for the first time because that was a really good video. So I made a reaction to it and to me the video turned out amazing. It turned out better than I thought I could uh, do with it. So I was really happy with that. So I've decided I'm going to do more React videos in the future and I'm going to start off with reacting to my own content. Some of my very first videos I did. So I'm going to be reacting to my first taste test, my first unboxing video and my first gaming series I did. So I'm really excited. I'm going to record two of them today. I really hope they turn out well. But I'm not going to be likely uploading them until fall and some of them in winter just because I have so much planned to upload for you guys already for the next couple months that I'm probably going to wait till then to upload it. But that I just wanted to share with you guys. And I might be trying to do a Try Not To Laugh series here on my channel. That one's unsure right now, but the React stuff is going to be coming out soon. Just... I have to plan more stuff to react to, but let's just get on with today's vlog. Okay, so I just finished recording those two react videos I mentioned. I recorded and edited them. Honestly, I'm really excited because they turned out amazing. I can't wait to share them with you. But like I said, it's not going to be until around fall. Maybe the first one will be September. I'm not sure right now, but anyways, today... Right now, I plan on going to St. Albert's Cheese Factory. It is a tradition with my family. We try to go at least once a year. It's a really nice drive up there, and at the end, you get cheese. So to me, it's a win-win. So I'm going to show you guys right now some of the footage from that. from the cheese factory honestly it was amazing cheese was delicious it's just it's a family tradition for me and it's something I love to do every year even though it starts to get boring and the cheese is ridiculously expensive it's nice to say we do it once a year it's kind of a family tradition one of the few family traditions we actually have left so that's all I have for today but I'm probably going to continue on this vlog tomorrow because I plan on going on a nature hike and I will share a lot of that with you guys so Let's just fast forward till tomorrow. Okay, so I'm about to leave and go on this hike. I know in the last vlog I said today I'm going to be sharing some of my car show with you guys, but I haven't went yet. I've been doing other things, so the vlog for my car show is probably going to be my next one because I'm going to the car show this weekend, and there's probably going to be enough footage from that to be able to do a whole vlog on it. So no car show in today's vlog, but in vlog number 16, expect to see it entirely for the car show, but let's just go to the hike.
now just a quick little update for you guys. As you guys remember, uh, about two months ago I quit my job and that was because I hated my job. And I went through for a security guard course online. I'm happy to say this past week I finished that security guard course. My online course is done. I actually wasn't expecting the grade I got. My final grade before exams was a 90. I was thinking it was gonna be a between 70 or 80, but for me to get a 90 in a class, that's something I've literally never done before. So I'm extremely happy that I did that. Now the only thing stopping me before I can write my final two exams for the course is I had to go and get my first aid training. Now this past weekend, Saturday, I went and got it. It was a full day course. Honestly, I was scared to do it because I thought in an emergency scenario, I wouldn't be able to get up and perform CPR or do anything really to help. But honestly, after doing the course, it's stuff I already knew how to do. It's just literally, I had to get a piece of paper that said I can do it. So I got that all done. I am certified. I just have to get my certificate in the mail. That's what I'm waiting on now. And then once I get that, I'll be able to sign up for my final two exams. Now I have two exams. The first one is for the course to finish the course and get uh, everything ready for that. And the final one is for the Canadian government to be able to get into working in this workforce as a security guard. I need to pass that exam. So two exams left. Then I'll be able to get back to work. So this past week, I had a little bit of spare time. I went and platinumed two of my games and those are Life is Strange. I got all the trophies and platinumed it. It was a really fun game, a really interesting game and something I wanted to play for a while and I'm glad I got to finish it. And the other game is The Walking Dead Season 3, A New Frontier. It's a telltale game, so I went and finished that game, got the platinum trophy for it. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to be playing next, but those two games, if you have not played, I recommend them because they are a lot of fun. Okay, so I am going to be ending this vlog here. I hope you guys did enjoy, but first... I'm going to be sharing some of my mail that I got with you guys. So let's see what we have. Nice. So I ordered these hockey cards a while ago and they are from a company called Pristine. Uh, you can go on pristinemarketing.com if you want to order these. They are the suppliers for Dollarama and other dollar stores. So if your Dollarama is sold out or your dollar store is sold out and you can't seem to find any in stock anywhere, you can order them online and they ship to you. Their shipping is pretty cheap. It's $4 shipping, at least it was for me. So we ordered two packs of Canadian teams hockey cards. These are Ottawa Senators. So that's going to be one video there. I ordered two packs of these goalie cards and they have one jersey card inside or one auto card and I don't have any autos in my collection so that's going to be really cool. I love collecting jersey cards as well so that's a win-win. So that's going to be one video there and I ordered two pack or sorry four packs of these surprise packs. Now they have one pack that they package themselves so it could be a Canadian teams, a goalie card or any other ones they have on their website. There's one officially licensed uh, unopened pack in here and then you have your supplies so it could be sleeves or top loaders but that's going to be two videos right there so in total these are going to be about four videos worth and uh, expect to see those after September. I'm thinking October, November is when they're going to be uploaded uh, on my channel so like I said if you can't like me right now I can't afford the blaster boxes and to buy packs and all this stuff. This is a pretty cheap alternative, cheap shipping, cheap already. Like these here are $2. Like that is cheap. It has one pack unopened in it and then it has one pack of theirs and sleeves and that. So to me, that's a win-win. Everything here was, I think, $20 roughly and that included shipping. So pretty cheap all in all. I recommend checking it out if you guys do hockey cards on your channel, but... I'm going to leave this vlog here. The next vlog is going to be entirely on my car show that I'm going to this weekend. I hope you guys do enjoy that. But like I said, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Please take care. Peace.